Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. I have a 30 and 30. It's been a while since I've done one of these. I actually was doing like three of them in tandem, which got a little complicated, but you're not gonna see all of them together. But this is blush. I also have uh, lipsticks coming up and highlighters that I might try to put up before this because now I'm starting again. I'm not gonna do blushes again, but I still have more highlighters and lipsticks to go through. But blushes, I just felt like starting with blushes, so that's what I'm gonna do. There are 30 different blushes and blush formulas in here. There are a few palettes that you're gonna see at the end which are gonna be blush palettes. There's nothing else in them other than blushes, so this is strictly blushes. All right, so the first blush that I have is from Sugar. This is Peach Peak. I got this in my Ipsy fairly recently. I think this is a good everyday shell, good everyday shade and it goes on well. That's what I was trying to say. As you can see, like it's very, just very pale. It's going to show up just a little bit. If you are darker skinned than super pale like me, it probably is not going to be the best shade for you, but I do think it's really nice for my skin tone. Next is from Cargo. I got this one in my Tri Beauty box. This is the shade Key Largo. Um, it is very pigmented. That's what it looks like. I just tapped my finger. I didn't even try to like swatch in there. And it's really hard to not get too much. So that's what it looks like with just a little bit there. But if I actually did a swatch, like a regular old swatch, that's what it's gonna look like. And it was more like this than this when I was trying to apply it with a brush. So this one I am going to declutter. It's just too dark for my skin tone. I think it was if it was a lighter color or I had a darker skin tone, it would work really well. But just the way that it is, it's just, it's not for me, unfortunately. The next one is from The Balm. And this one is Swiss Dot. It's part of their In Stain collection. I have several of these and some of them I purchased at Kohl's and then some of them, and I don't remember which one it is, I got one in a Tri Beauty box as well. So that's what the shade looks like. It's a gorgeous shade. Like this is a beautiful peachy shade. I really like peach shades. So I was really happy with it. You can blend it out better than the cargo. And the cargo just felt like I was, I felt like a bit of a clown with it, unfortunately. But that's Swiss Dot. I really liked that one. Really happy with that one as well. This next one I really like as well. I have talked about the Tarte blushes quite a bit on my channel, I feel. But this is the shade Quirky. That's what it is. It's just, it's gorgeous. Excuse my weird fingers because I'm trying not to blend colors anywhere. There it is right there. As you can see, it's just lighter than the Swiss Dot. It just looks a little bit more natural on the skin. It's just not quite as pigmented as the Balm. So if you want something more pigmented, go with the Balm. If you want something a little lighter, I would go with Tarte Quirky. Phase Zero is the next one. This is the shade Blusher. No, this is the shade Cotton Candy. What am I talking about? This is what it looks like. It kind of does look like cotton candy. It's a really light shade. That's what I would say. Um, it looks really pretty on. It does feel a little bit more um, rough than the other ones. It's, I don't even know if you can see that on my side of my hand but it doesn't feel quite as smooth as some of the other formulas I just talked about. All right, next up is another one of my favorite formulas. This is Too Faced Justify My Love. I feel like it's a light wash of color and it blends well and it's a very light shade. So while I love this formula, this probably is not the best for every shade, every skin tone. And I would definitely recommend like looking for other shades as well. But as you can see, it just looks really beautiful on the skin, kind of has almost a glowy quality about it. Really like that one. This next one I am also decluttering. I'm gonna turn it to, you can see how it is like cracked and crumbling. I probably am just gonna end up throwing this out, but I'll see if anybody, any of my friends here want it. 
I don't know how it broke so badly, but this is In a Purple Haze by Wet n Wild. I'm gonna set that one aside so I don't break it anymore. And it's just, it's so super pale. It's almost more like a highlighter. Like I think some people could actually use that as a highlighter as opposed to a blush, but I don't know why you would want to so much because it doesn't have like a lot of sheen to it. It just is super duper light. So I don't know, maybe if you were painting your face white, you could make it work as a blush, but I don't think normal people could use it as a blush. The next one I'm also decluttering, and now I have powder all over my notes. This is from Estee Lauder. This is the Pure Color Envy in Pink Tees, and it's just not my favorite shade. I feel like I have other shades that I like better, and it takes a lot to build up as well when you're using a brush. So that's what it looks like, and once again, like you can barely see it on my hand right there. It's just, it's too much work. So I'm decluttering that one as well. I feel kind of good that I'm getting rid of some blushes actually. And then we have this little guy. This is Notor Notoriously Morbid and it is the shade Tempestuous because it was from their Vanishing Cabinet subscription and it was based on 10 Things I Hate About You. So that's what it looks like. Um, if you, I have seen 10 Things I Hate About You so many times like it's a ridiculous like it's one of my it's one of my favorite movies of all time it's like my top two so that's what it looks like right there it is a really pretty shade it's not my favorite um it's just so messy to work with that's my main thing i'm not going to declutter it because like it's a special reason why i got it 10 things i hate about you all of that but I'm not going to keep it in with my blushes. I'm gonna put it in with my like collector's makeup that are based on different movies or books or what what have you. But yeah, I, I'm just not the biggest fan of notoriously morbid blushes, I guess. Next is from Bare Minerals and loose powders are the hardest. This is the shade Gorgeous and really it is a gorgeous shade. I don't know if you can see it in there. It's just like this pinky, like dark pinky color. And this is what it looks like. Yeah, this is one that you have to be very light handed with because it's easy to look like a clown with it as well. But it is, it is a gorgeous shade. So I'm going to keep it, use it sparingly, use it very consciously, like make sure that I don't look like a clown. This next one is one that's pretty new to me. I picked it up this summer when they were on sale at uh, Ulta. I couldn't think of the store for a second. This is Apricot in the Act by Too Faced. It's part of their 2D Fruity collection. As you can see, there are two shades in there. You can mix them or wear them separately. I'm going to swatch them separately so you can kind of see, and then I'm going to swirl them together. So that's kind of what they look like. I, I d would not wear them separately like the gold by itself I would wear this by itself or I'd wear it mixed together I really love it it smells so good because it does have that scent to it I really like this one I also like the next one which I have to wipe all my finger swatches off and don't worry after I cl clean with a cleaning cloth I rub them on my pants to get rid of this um, wetness. Next one is Like My Melons by Too Faced once again. It is another just gorgeous one. And this one, I don't know. I think I like this one even more than the Apricot in the Act, even though um, like Apricot's probably more of an everyday shade. So here it is by itself. Here it is mixed together. And part of the reason I like this one is that glitter is just not quite as pronounced as the apricot one. But I love this line. I would definitely recommend any of the Too Faced blush duos because they just did a really good All job. Right, another them. recent find is from Madison Miller. This came in my uh, Ipsy bag. This is from Ofra. It is the All You Need Is Love because I guess it's based on her child or her dog or something. And it's a gorgeous 
peachy shade. Really like this. There's another shade in the collection too that's more of a pink shade. I did not get that one, unfortunately. Then we have from Carl Lagerfeld and Model Co. I don't know what shade this is. Um, it's very subtle. It's almost more of a highlight. We're gonna build it up just a little bit than a blush, to be honest. It is considered a blush when they sell it, but as you can see, it's more almost more of a highlighter. It's going to also go in my collection of blushes that I'm not really gonna wear, but I wanna keep because of the packaging or the collaboration, because Karl Lagerfeld is somebody who I've admired for quite a long time. And I do think it's pretty, I just, I'm not gonna reach for it. And I'm trying to, I wanna start using more of my blushes and kind of rotate them. So that one can just go in a separate area. Next is Too Faced So Happy Together. Oh, I have another one of these little blushes. This was a collaboration with Kat Von D and they did like this makeup bag and you got a blush and you got a highlighter and you got like a liquid lipstick and maybe her eyeliner. This shade is just gorgeous. It has a shimmer to it. So if you don't like shimmer or sheen, you're not gonna like it. But even though it seems like it's gonna be really dark, it just, it's just an unusual color and it looks really pretty on my skin anyway. I love it. I would not let it go. I wish that they had made full sizes of it, to be honest, because I would totally go for a full size in that. Next is Wet n Wild. This is Dare to Soar. This was their baked blushes, part of their Flights of Fancy collection. This was the darkest of all the shades, and I just don't know what to do with this one. It would be a pretty eyeshadow, I think, but I'm not gonna use it as an eyeshadow. I don't use my single eyeshadows as it is. So I'm gonna let this one go. It's it's beautiful, it's just not a good blush for me. Like maybe if you had darker skin, it would be a good one. Just, it's not a great shade for me. Then we have Tarte Feisty. I have so many of these Tarte blushes, I don't know. This one might have come in a recent Macy's. It's once again, just gorgeous. I love these shades, they're very natural looking. They blend out well. Like I'm just gonna kind of blend this one out. You can see that you get just a really nice like color payoff, but it's not overwhelming. So I really like that one too. All right, now we're moving on to Smashbox. These are trios, blush trios, but it's kind of weird because I guess this one is supposed to be a highlighter. I used it as a blush, but whatever. So th there are three shades in here are Rich Pink, True Pink, and Highlight Pink. But I used, like I said, all three of them as a blush. They're pretty, they're not like my favorite blushes. I do think these would be good. Like if you're going and you want a couple choices, I would take them with me. I'm trying to think if I said anything special about them. It applies well, apply with a light hand, um, some of them. You need to build up the highlight ones if you want to wear them as a blush, which obviously now that I'm reading it, I didn't read, I didn't even look at it. I was like, oh, blush palettes, great. We're gonna look at another one. This is going out of order by one blush, but I just feel like I should show you these together. This is the coral one. The other one was, this is, what is this? Culver City Coral, and this was Pacific Coast Pink, the first one. And the same thing, this has the three coral shades in it. That's what they look like. They do have just a little bit more of a coral shade to them. And this highlight is definitely better as a blush than that first one. You have to use these ones with a slightly lighter hand is what I found with them. As well. All right, next up is from MAC. And this is a duo in Melba and Love Cloud. And I just wore the blush. I didn't wear the highlight. I mean, not the highlight, the bronzer, but I will swatch the bronzer. I got this more so for the blush than the bronzer. Plus, I just thought the packaging was absolutely gorgeous. Actually, that bronzer you might be able to wear as a blush now that I'm kind of looking at it. That's what they look like. It's a really nice light color. Again, I don't know if you're a darker skin tone, if it's going to work so much for you. And I don't think MAC 
does these with more than one shade in them, but I do love MAC blushes, what I've gotten of their blushes anyway. Next up is from Alomar. There are three colors in this color at Blush Trio. I have the shade, this one, Medium Tan, which is just, it cracks me up because, man, the light one was ugly colors. Like, for me, they looked ugly. So we have Seclusion, Isla, and Toasted, and all three of these are beautiful satin shades. They kind of let your skin show through them. So they just, when I put them on, I was like, wow, that looks so beautiful. I would just want to wear these all of the time. So then, there we have the three shades. As you can see, they're all beautiful. They all just look really nice and like let your skin kind of shine through and look natural, like a nat natural flush, which is really nice for blushes because sometimes they can look too painted on if that makes sense. I think that's why I keep referring to them as clown, looking clownish, but those ones don't. My last three are from Real Her. This is the Bee, Fearless Bee Limitless Blush Kit. It does come with three shades, Fearless, Limitless, and Unstoppable, which is more of a bronzer, but not really a bronzer shade. It's kind of pinky. Um, that's what it looks like. I just wore these the other day. I like, of the three, I like the one in the center the best but I'm going to declutter this whole palette just because that's my favorite and the other two I don't like. This middle one that the, I put on my middle finger, that's the bronzer. It's just really, I don't know if you can even see that. The first one is beautiful, but it does have big, it has glitter in it and you can definitely see the glitter, which is just not something that I want to deal with. And that's what the third one looks like. It's the most beautiful of all of them. But it's just, you know, there's no point in keeping an entire blush palette if you only want one of it. So I'm going to pass that one along as well. Of the 30 blushes that I tried this past month, I'm keeping two of them to put into like my collector's makeup space. And I need to like Eventually, I want to show you all of that, but I'm trying to kind of gather it together and put it, figure out what to do with it and how to display it. And then I am decluttering seven. So that's basically cutting down to 21 blushes, which are all in here from that 30. I feel like I did a pretty good job. Let me know if you've tried some of these blushes. If you think there are blushes that I would like based on these. I would love to know that as well. I do have other 30 and 30s with blushes. I'll try to list those down below. If not, there'll be a playlist of all of my 30 and 30s. So you can go look at that as well. I hope you are all having a fantastic day. Let me know your thoughts down below and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.